living world section of a paper one you need to know about ecosystems okay so the first thing you need to understand about ecosystem is that it's a composed of different actors producers consumers decomposers uh, they exist on a small scale like a pond they also ex exist on a global scale like a rainforest or a tundra and in the case of global ecosystems we call those biomes okay the concepts you need to understand within the ecosystems uh, unit or part of this unit uh, is a concept of a nutrient cycle whereby um, nutrient is in the soil it's absorbed by the trees they emit uh, the biomass and the biomass falls to the ground as litter and the decomposers break down all the nutrients back into the soil okay you need to understand nutrient cycle you also need to understand the food chain which is um, a producer it's like a carrot a primary consumer like a rabbit a secondary consumer like a fox um, and a decomposer like mushroom and fungi okay uh, you need to understand that more than one food chain together that is interlinked uh, is a um, is a food web and that one uh, an impact on one part of the food chain will have a uh, trickle down effect on other parts of the food chain or food web because they're all interdependent and need each other okay you also need to learn about abiotic and biotic factors which are live non-living and living factors all this is basically covered in year nine uh, biology so it should be pretty easy when you revise that because you've done it again and again you then have to focus on two uh, bits of uh, two big major uh, biomes. One of them is rainforest, and the other one is either hot or cold environment, depending on which school you are in. When you do rainforest, uh, you need to know the basics. So rainforest is hot and humid. Uh, it's, so it's hot and wet, which we call humid. The temperatures are between 25 and 30 degrees Celsius all year round. It's, it, to be a rainforest, it has to rain over 2,000 millimeters of rain on average per year. And the rainforest is divided into four layers. The um, the forest floor or the shrub, the under canopy, uh, the canopy and the emergent layer. And the under the um, forest floor only gets about 2% sunlight. Most of the animals live in the canopy. Okay, And the reason the trees go tall is because they want to reach the emergent layer and where all the sunshine is for, for photosynthesis. Plants have therefore adapted to the rainforest. Um, one of them is, for example, the pitcher plant that has sweet nectar that it, it allows uh, insects to come into the uh, into the pitcher. The insect will, uh, uh, will get stuck in the nectar um, will get di dissolved in by the acidic uh, um, acidic uh, solution and therefore the uh, the plant will use the nutrients of the animal to uh, to grow it, was, it makes it carnivorous but without having any teeth if you see what i mean um the other one is you've got the pitcher plant also has waxy uh, inner light walls which means that animals can't climb back out uh, it's also got concave walls which makes it harder to climb out okay you could also use um you could also use uh, epiphytes that grow off the trunk of other trees, uh, lianas that grow along trees, up the bark, plenty of different uh, trees you could talk about. Okay, an animal that's adapted is the jaguar. You've got a picture of one here. He's got the spots for clam camouflage. It's strong. It's got sharp claws so it can uh, climb trees. It's got sharp teeth and strong jaw to catch its prey. Okay. You then have to learn about deforestation. And on the whole, these are the main causes of deforestation. One of them is logging. Um, Timber companies using uh, the wood for furniture. Population growth means you have to clear rainforest to provide settlements for uh, people to move into. You've got illegal trade in wildlife like jaguar, the tamarind, endangered species that disturbs ecosystem, completely breaks well, um, food chains, and to some extent increases risk of zoonotic diseases uh, like COVID. Um, you've also got cattle farming. Uh, about 80% of deforestation is... Um, is due to uh, branching of animals on that land. You've also got uh, crops. The best crops we all know and hear about is palm oil uh, that they used to we cut trees down, down to increase uh, the one kind of monoculture of palm oil. Um, we also cut trees down to build the roads. Uh, we built cut trees down for valuable resources found below the rainforest, like uh, like coal, uh, gold, etc. Um, and for energy. Okay, so we either burn the wood or we use uh, hydroelectric power plants in the Amazon, for instance, and that floods whole valleys and therefore leads to destruction of the uh, pristine virgin uh, rainforest. Okay, impacts of um, deforestation, where there's economic, they're positive and negative, and that's where most people go wrong in an exam. There's pros and cons. The pros are it increases in uh, employment it provides tax revenue for the government improves the infrastructure of a country but pollutes water source um we lose medicines it increases the chance of forest fires it leads to soil erosion because the roots uh, bind the soil together contributes to climate change obviously okay and it can lead to conflict and then uh, finally, we have to look at how we can manage it. The main ways to manage uh, rainforest is to uh, agree internationally to um, protect um, the uh, environment. So you've got international agreements, you've got promote, promotion of responsible management, rainforest alliance, uh, forest stewardship council. You've got selective logging. You only cut the mature trees, let the small one grows. You can create national parks in Brazil, for instance. That means areas can't be built in or inhabited. Therefore, they're, they're kept safe. And you can promote ecotourism, raise awareness, provide um, income, and actually encourage people to invest in um, the rainforest itself.